in this class we'll discuss about cut off frequency of a rectangular waveguide what do you mean by a cut off frequency of a rectangular waveguide it is nothing but is the minimum frequency which we have to give so that the wave is able to reach the another end right if your frequency is less than this cut off frequency then the wave will not reach the other end okay so what will be the expression of that if you derive that you will get the expression omega c is nothing but 1 by mu epsilon root over m pi by a the whole square plus n pi by b the whole square. So this is what is the expression of your cutoff frequency right. If I want the frequency so the fc will be nothing but 1 by 2 pi mu epsilon right root over m pi by a the whole square plus n pi by b the whole square right this is what is your frequency. Now if so this is the minimum frequency which you have to apply such that the wave is able to travel over the rectangular waveguide. So it is valid for all the TE mode and TM mode right this is how you can calculate the cutoff frequency. Now what will be the phase velocity if I go over VP, VP is nothing but omega by beta right. If you solve this what you will get it is nothing but 1 by mu epsilon root over 1 minus FC by F the whole square this is what you will get the phase velocity. Now just I said if you apply a frequency less than Fc which is nothing but cut off frequency what will happen let us see that conditions. So first condition your F is less than Fc it means your applied frequency is less than the cut off frequency. So your F is less than this so can I say that Fc is greater than F so which is nothing but can I say that this whole quantity or if I rearrange this equation okay one by if I talk about pre says itself it will become mu naught epsilon naught. So this is nothing but okay let us rearrange this first. So on rearranging this expression will become C by 1 minus Fc by F the whole square right this is what is your VP if I am assuming mu naught and epsilon naught okay. So next thing is if I want to calculate the VP if I want to find VP for F less than FC. So your, your applied frequency is less than the cutoff frequency right. So let us see that what will happen if your F is smaller than FC then this quantity is greater than this quantity will become imaginary right. So can I say that VP will be imaginary right. If your VP is imaginary it means what it does not exist right. So your wave will not travel if you give a frequency less than the cutoff frequency okay this is clear. What about if I give frequency if F is equal to FC if F is equal to FC this will become 1 this will get cancelled this will become 1 1 minus 1 is 0 it means again your phase velocity is 0. So again your wave will not travel so your VP equal to 0. What is the last case if F is greater than FC if F is greater than FC then this quantity will be bigger then this quantity will be something point so it means your VP will exist VP will be real right will be real. So it means your phase velocity exists it means your wave will travel. So what we concluded here is if you want your wave to travel so you have to apply a frequency if you want the wave to travel you have to apply a frequency such that it should be greater than your cutoff frequency right which is nothing but so minimum frequency for which it has to travel is nothing but your cutoff frequency and which we have already proved here. So if your f is greater than fc only then only your phase velocity will exist right. So and this is the expression which is nothing but it is giving you the nothing but your cutoff frequency. We will see how to solve numerical related to this in next videos.